Hello everyone. Today we're looking at this. This is an AT&T bag phone. Um, I'm not actually sure what the model of this particular phone is. Um, I bought this quite a few years ago um, and I don't actually remember what I paid for it. Um, it wasn't much by my recollection because at the time um, I just found this and thought I don't have one of them. It's not much. I'll buy it. Um, and I haven't really played with this ever since. Um, it's um, quite chunky, as you can see. Got a few zippers. Um, and unlike some of the, um, the, the the more modern bag phones, well, I say modern, um, this one actually has a zipper uh, that you need to undo completely to get to the handset, um, which looks like this. Now, you might be thinking that looks a little familiar. Um, if you are, you're not far off because um, I actually think this is a Nokia phone um, in AT&T badging, believe it or not. Um, you may remember I did a, a couple of videos um, late last year with, um, with uh, some Nokia bag phones. Um, and uh, um, one of them, the handset looked very similar to this. Um, if you don't remember, I happen to have that Nokia phone here. Let me just move this to the side. Um, and this is the bad boy I was on about. Um, conveniently, this is the handset. Now, to me, that looks very, very similar. In fact, the button layout is pretty much identical. You've got recall, recall, menu, menu, store, store, volume, volume, power, power, clear, clear. And obviously, the other buttons are the same. Uh, the display is pretty much also identical. Uh, it's a dark matrix LCD display, um, which most bag phones have. Uh, there is some bag phones from Motorola, uh, which do have a color LCD display. Um, and the really old ones, which I will try and do a video about um, in the next few weeks, actually have color burst um, LED displays. Um, if you have one of them, hang on to it because they are quite rare. Um, going back to this one though, um, this is uh, a Nokia phone. Um, um, the reason I know that is not just because of this handset, but also because um, if you open the back up, so I can get to the zipper, um, you will see that actually um, the inside looks very, very, very much like the Nokia unit um, inside the Nokia bag phone. Um, it's got the same connectors, um, pretty much the same antenna as well. Um, so I, I would say this is just a, a Nokia with an at and sticker on it and some at and labels on it. Um, I would say the functions are the same. The menu on this is identical to the Nokia phone. Um, I had both of them side by side earlier just to have a quick flick through and I couldn't work out if there was a difference. Uh, certainly, it, it does look like um, they, they are the same. Anyway, um, let me quickly zip this back up, make it a little bit more manageable, um, and then we'll power this up quickly. Now, at the bottom of this, you also have um, a third zipper, which gives you access to um, a cigarette lighter cord and uh, the battery. This has a, a standard Motorola 12 volt, uh, 2000 milliamp per battery. These are pretty common uh, amongst many, many phone manufacturers. Um, so um, you can still get these because these are actually old. Uh, th these are uh, professional video camcorder batteries, believe it or not. This form factor here. Um, and that's why they're still manufactured to this day. Um, I actually have one that I bought late last year this is a 2014 battery and this still does hold charge it still does take charge and it still powers up phones uh, for between 12 and 25 hours depending on the phone um, so we can use this because this phone comes with a cord which you can use as an adapter um, basically what you do if you want to use this bag phone while you're out and about you would connect that like so and then you would you would connect this piece into that and obviously this is in the phone and then the other cord has 
one as well so you could potentially use this to charge the battery um, in this case you'd obviously use it to power the phone um, I'm not going to use that because these contacts are not that great this one's a little bent I don't know if you can see that so it doesn't hold onto the battery very well um, even though I do have a, a battery that does work so I'm gonna go ahead and put the batteries to, to one side and use one of these this is just an AC adapter which plugs to the wall socket and it's uh, it basically emulates a, a 12 volt socket of your car so let's plug this guy in and um, power up the phone and see what we can do um, I haven't actually worked out how to use the menu on these uh, real good there is a menu obviously um, but to enable a function I don't actually know how that works so I, like I said I had a quick play earlier and I couldn't work it out um, I'm guessing that's the number uh, that was last dialed maybe or maybe that's the number that was assigned to this phone I'm not too sure I don't have a manual for this unfortunately um, it would have probably been an AT&T manual of some sort not a Nokia but like I said the manual the uh, the menu on this is the same as the other one so um, a Nokia one would probably be probably be um, be good to go um, I don't have a manual for the Nokia either so um, I guess I'll have to work it out anyway um, so uh, usual buttons really the thing that strikes me is that um, the send and end button actually stays on permanently um, which would mean that this uses an awful lot of battery um, I, I, I kind of don't know how to switch the um, the lights off I don't know if you can see that but um, the, the the keys are lit continuously um, so this would obviously drain the battery quite significantly uh, there is no way the phone would know that it's powered off of a, a battery or off of the car because um, this this is how you'd get the power and obviously that's just 12 volts so um, I haven't quite figured out figured out that bit yet but anyway um, power this guy up real quick and um, let's just quickly go through and see what we can do um, like I said I don't know if that's the number of the actual phone or not because it disappears after a while um, and then to get to the menu you push that button general menu now um, you can actually use the um, pound and star keys or hash and, pa uh, hash and star keys uh, if you're European uh, to scroll through uh, backlight on that's obviously where you switch off the um, the uh, the backlight for these keys um, I'm guessing it's store no maybe not uh, like I said earlier I haven't, I haven't quite worked out how to use this um, let's try clear nope um, okay maybe it's something else then um, menu what would it be then would it be send or recall no nope. so like I said I don't know how to actually go into the into the drill down into the menu and select something um, didn't want to do that So menu, let's try something else then, backlight, so maybe it's just menu, timed, oh there we go, so if you if you scroll with the, with the pound and star keys, or, or uh, hash and star keys, and then you select, you, you press menu to select that, obviously you can change the, um, the settings, we'll leave that on for now, English is the language we want, home select system, uh, this is where you'd obviously select your A and B or auto preferred non prime um, leave that on auto it doesn't really matter because they shut off amps ages ago uh, and this did run on amps obviously because it's AT&T uh, ignition sense uh, that would obviously sense when you power your ignition on um, I'm guessing if you leave that on that would automatically come back on the phone would come on um, data link off not sure what that does next menu um, yes please volume menu uh, ring volume loud ketone loud DTMF continuous horn no alert um, I think some of the older bag phones actually if the if the phone was in the car and you had it wired up correctly um, when the when there was a phone call when you received a phone call it could actually sound the car's horn 
Uh, and I only recently found this out. Um, I guess this is the option for this. Uh, next menu. Yes, please. Timer menu. Okay. Last three seconds. Airtime 72 minutes. This obviously hasn't been used much at all. 72 minutes is not a lot. That's just over an hour. That's an hour and 12 minutes. So this phone has had very little usage by the looks of it. Um, and I don't think you can even reset that. So that'll be the lifetime counter. Pin code, don't really want that. Um, and that's about it. Oh, have I just reset the counter? Airtime. Oh, it does. It, it look. It does look like I've just reset it. My apologies. So you can reset it. Um, it this isn't really intuitive as a menu. Um, certainly, the, the Motorola menus are a little bit more straightforward. Um, I think that's probably it for the menu. Uh, real basic. Uh, if you if you you know if you compare that to today's touchscreen phones with icons and all that sort of stuff. Um, there isn't much else I can show you. Um, let's try and just do recall last number. 911. I don't obviously recommend you dial 911 unless it is an emergency, but um, in this case, there's no service clearly there, so um, it ain't going to dial out. Um, uh, so, not really an issue. Um, there's not really much else I can say about this. Um, weight wise, probably about a pound and a quarter maybe um, that's all I can say really I, I don't have much info with with regards to this particular phone um, that there ain't much info on the Nokia phones um, and this is obviously a, a Nokia badged up as a, an AT&T so um, if you guys have any more info on this um, drop me a, a comment or an email or something uh, and let me know if you y'all got a manual um, that would be real real handy um, so feel free to check out some of the other videos um, I have uh, on here and if you all got any questions about some of the phones I've featured or maybe not about the phones I've featured uh, let me know I'll try and help out as best as I can um, I know you guys uh, uh, some some people are uh, buying old phones and they're having uh, trouble unlocking and whatnot um, so um, I'll try and help out as best as I can with advice on that um, so yeah, uh, give me the thumbs up if you like the phone or the video and um, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.